All right, when you talk about charisma, you have to talk about this team. Michael Hayes and gorgeous Jimmy Garvin, freshness. How you doing, David? I got to tell you something. We're all three of us are real excited. I mean, we're right in the middle of a bunch of bunkhouse stampedes from coast to coast. And not only that, huh, let me tell you something. It's not my fault that the four horsemen are having problems. I know I haven't said that in a long time, but I've had a lot of things on my mind. But I'm starting to come down to earth now with Michael P.S. Hayes and my squeeze beside me, and we're getting excited about something else, too. We're getting excited about the World Tag Team titles, because let me tell you something, I'm not going to take nothing away from the guy that's always in a bad mood, Tully Blanchard. Are you and in I, a bad mood, too, if you had a face like that to walk well, around with? <laughs> I guess so. With a face like that, I'd be a little bit mad myself and Arn Anderson, because they are great athletes. They are the World Tag Team Champions, even though they cheat. It's like going to Africa for the big game. There ain't no use going to Africa and hunting some rabbit with big long ears. We might as well go for the big stuff. And the big stuff is Arn Anderson and the guy that's always in a bad mood, Tully Blanchard. We're coming after you, and we're gonna take your titles. Go with it, Michael. Well, you know, what a wicked web we weave when first we try to deceive and they tell the people there is no dissension. But you see, there is dissension in the Four Horsemen and it is at that time, the prime time, when they are most vulnerable because we got matches lined up and it is right for the picking. It is time for the fall. And I guarantee you and promise you very soon, Michael P.S. Hayes, gorgeous Jimmy Garvin, World Tag Team Champions because baby, we got what it takes to take what you got, like four peas in a pot, and the peas will be jumping at the water wasn't hot.